Hi everyone, this is Cloud Making Videos coming back at you with another Autochrome tutorial. Um, today we're going to talk about some of these custom functions that I've made um, and some of the updates that I've done to the, the program and just quickly go through them. Uh, but mostly we'll just be talking about these custom functions uh, just to explain how you guys can make your own presets for this. Um, if you guys are struggling with the presets and you need me to make some for you, I'm open for commissions, please let me know on Twitter at cloudmaking. Um, but yeah, uh, so the first thing I would say is if you if you want to make one of your own presets, make sure you have the latest version of Autochrome 2. So github.com slash cloudmaking um, and click Autochrome 2, click on code, download. Uh, you, can, uh, you can check how to set up this script in the previous two videos. I'll go through it quite in a lot of details. Uh, you but you just have to make sure that you re read this readme file like actually really read it read it like a lot so i'm quickly gonna go through some of the updates that i've done since last time before starting uh so let's go to i'll go to my own personal version well, my own personal directory for this um so as you can see it looks, looks a tiny little bit different not a lot different but there are line numbers now, which makes debugging a little bit easier. Um, if you go open, um, if you go open a preset, let's open one from here. As you can see, there's syntax highlighting, which is amazing. Like that was one of my one of my final goals, and I think I've achieved it. Uh, so I mean, unfortunately, I will be slowing down development on this. Um, this program now because I'm going to start a new project. If you guys want to contribute to this project, let me know. Do contact me at CloudMaking again on Twitter. Um, but yeah, so th those are the updates. There are a little bit, uh, there are a couple more updates as well. Just um, housekeeping stuff really. So this add upload, uh, add upload folder button, which makes it so you don't have to type in your file path directly by hand. Uh, it was giving a lot of people trouble especially on the mac end um because uh it's, it's a bit it's just a bit different on how how you do it. and hopefully this solves you haven't really tested it yet. i'm still waiting for people to reply to me um but yeah so you can just add your upload folder here if you want to upload stuff with your preset uh you don't have to if you don't have to pick one if you're not uploading stuff you can just leave it but if you are please make please pick it because it will crash the script if you don't um and i've added in this little line here just explaining that there are two hard baked variables in the script now file folder file underscore folder which is for this upload folder and loop amount which is here um but yeah those are the updates uh let's move on to the functions so i just wanted to go through these uh just to sort of like teach you guys how to make your own presets uh because i've been getting a lot of uh, a lot of comments on Twitter and on YouTube uh, for people struggling with it. Uh, but essentially I've made these presets just to, to like make the whole process of making presets really, really easy. So the first one is go to, um, you can sort of see this in this rareable upload script uh, where it basically just goes to rareable.com slash create. And what we can do is we can open, uh, we, can, we can run it by itself, which is another great thing about the script. Uh, I'm going to open the browser. I'm going to log into my MetaMask quickly. And once you are logged in and all set up, we're going to press start. And see, it just takes you to the, the variable page. You could put Google here. You could put whatever link you want to put here and it will just take you. Um, so I guess we'll, we can literally just carry on sort of like seeing how this preset works just to sort of go through the things. Also, the, the functions is just here. So basically, they're just taking these lines and just reducing them into one line. So you guys can just like in more intuitively make these presets. So the next one of the next things that the script is going to do is look for this single uh, thing and it's just going to click it. So the way it does it, it does that is it finds it by the CC, uh, CSS code. And as you can see in the in the actual, oh no, this is not the right one, sorry. This is the rareable one here. So in the actual uh, preset, in the actual preset, we have, it's right up here. So it's gonna go to the, the create page and then it's gonna do C CSS and click. You can also access these by going to help read me and they'll give you a list of all of them. I mean, it's fair, it's a little bit useful. It's not super useful. 
the readme file is probably still better um but yeah so you basically just write css and click in and then in brackets you give it the code how do you find the code you say you right click on what you're looking for or what you want to click on inspect and in this case you just go there and you can sort of see there are there are multiple different ways we can sort of interact with this so in this uh, css code the way i've done it is in brackets i've i've told it it's a button and then in brackets i've given it a class i've given it a class and then i've given it the class code and you can see we can see that right here so it basically tells it that it's a button oh sorry we're not on the right one it's up here isn't it yep it's up here okay yeah so you, you've given it a button and then in this case i've given it the data marker which we can sort of see right where did it go okay one cool thing you can do here is actually just search for it data marker okay not gonna show it oh we're not looking i'm so dumb sorry so it's actually this one C uh, css and click so button and then we're looking for the id which is create single so if you click on this mouse thing and just click it here there's the id create single so that's basically how the css and click thing works um the alternative version of that is basically xpath and xpath and click which also needs a code and the way you find that is let's just say we're clicking on this exact same thing you'd right click once you found it you right click copy and then copy xpath i usually open a notepad and just paste it in there just to check what it is and you can see it's just this so it wouldn't be much different the the way you would write this version would literally be uh, i can write it in the script i guess so xpath and click brackets don't forget the brackets and then quotation uh, i'm going to do single quote here and i'm going to just paste it there and then we can press start and we can see it will click the single button okay so that's three done uh so the x uh, the ccs and key in this case what that does is it will get it will take a code and a key and you can sort of see it being used right here where we have to give the title the name right so what it does is you basically just find the so yeah it's the loop title so you're gonna so in this case i'm using css and key so i'm gonna just find this input right click inspect same thing um and in this case what it's looking for is a data marker which is this so here's the data marker and here and you basically just structure it like this so the input's the first thing and then the brackets and then data marker and that and then basically after that you do comma make sure you put it in in quotes as well uh yeah also this is just basic python code by the way so if you guys need to like there are loads of like python uh, courses online and they're not even that long just look at the beginners one and you basically as long as you know the beginner sort of python syntax you, you should be able to use this sort of preset builder very easily so in this case it basically uses these variables which is basically just taking the the loop name that we've given it in the title which is just a hashtag sign and it's gonna it's gonna add on to that the start number which is also at the top here and essentially it's just gonna end up inputting number whatever file name that is that we gave it in there okay so that's how that works and then basically the xpath version of that is basically copy xpath instead of using the css code uh again use a use a notepad just to note these down as you're going uh and this will be that and sometimes xpath works i found that css uh, that xpath if you can find a solid xpath sort of how this is structured this first one is structured is very good this it will most likely not change in the future but something like this might uh so in this case it might be better if you end up going for the css but you can use both whatever works for you, you go for it um yeah so that's that and that leaves us with this link text click which again i think let's go to the open c one because i used it there i don't use this much i just use it i usually use it right at the start just to see if it works or not so this is just for clicking the key one i haven't really tested yet so use it on your own accords it might not work uh but yeah i use it in this script once just to click on the cell page on open c uh you literally just say link text underscore click brackets and in in commas you just tell it 
some text that might be on the thing you're trying to click. In my experience, it doesn't work like 80% of the times, but it's the easiest, so it's worth trying just to start, just to begin with. Um, but yeah, I think, so that's all of that. That's literally all of it. Um, and it's basically, yeah, so the, the main bit, the main bit is the, of, of this, of Selenium is just finding elements and interacting with elements. Some of the interacting you might do might be like something like this, where you send it the keys, but it might just be a backspace, which I'm doing here. So I find, I find this, this input here, because it already has the 10 baked in, I'm going to send it two backspaces to clear it. And then I'm going to send it royalties, which is again, another 10. So it's just going to write 10 again, but I put that there so people who are make who are using this preset can change it to whatever they want. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much all of it. Everything else in this preset is just basic Python. So you will have your, your while loops, uh, you have your while loops and you'll have your try accept catches and so on uh if you want me to if you if you guys want me to explain those in another video please let me know i don't want to make this video too long um i just wanted to explain to you guys how to use these functions and i pretty much have again if you guys want me to make presets for you so this script currently comes with two presets um these two presets which we've basically just gone through one is for bulk bulk uploading on OpenSea, uh polygon and, and ethereum chain and the other one is for Rarible, and both of them are sort of stuck with MetaMask, so it wouldn't they these wouldn't work with other wallets. Um, if you guys want me to make a preset for you guys, um, I'm open for commissions for the next two weeks at least, and then I might be quite busy after that. So if you guys want presets, uh, at Cloud Making, uh, just yeah, DM me on Twitter. I have my DMs open um or just leave a comment below if you have any other comments please leave it below please subscribe for future videos uh like this video will help quite a lot and if you guys want to support me with my ongoing projects such as this and another one i'm sort of another couple i'm working on um i'll leave a paypal link in the in the description please uh send me some money or like don't yeah donate me some money or you can go on OpenSea um dot io slash collection slash cryptoverse one and this is my nft series which is completely live now it has ten thousand procedurally generated planets uh they're fairly cheap so yeah if you again if you want to help if you guys want to help me or like help my ongoing projects go buy one of these donate some money uh, i will leave everything in the description below uh thank you for watching the video thank you for supporting me if you have already uh, again, if you need me to make you presets, I'm definitely free in the coming week. Then I might be a bit busy, so be fast about it. DM me on Twitter and uh, yeah, we can discuss how much or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like, whatever. Do all of that. I will see you guys next time. Peace.